Well, it is stories like that one that have many women thinking about how they can protect themselves from crime. Here in Lexington, some of them are turning a girls' night out into something that could save their lives. They're heading to the gun range where they're being trained to take aim and fire back. Time out. It's Monday night <laughs> and these ladies are looking for a good time. We're gonna move forward and pace In fact, every car. Monday is ladies night here. Pull back on those slides. At the gun warehouse in Lexington, classes are full each week of finger women the interested in packing finger a little trigger. Heat. Finger off the trigger. Ready, fire! My husband thought it was a good idea for me to come out here. Um, he always leaves and I, I need to, I feel I need to be protected. And Danielle Stratton is one of 30 women loading up and taking aim at a growing trend nationwide. There's a huge growth uh, among female handgun owners in the United States. The FBI says the number of applications for conceal and carry permits jumped in 2011. Next group, come on up. And experts say many of those were for women. Did something, I guess. Tony Pignato with Velocity Training Group says Girls' Night Out is a direct result. And the thing is, is when they're purchasing more, if nobody's spending the time to teach them how to use the handguns, well, guess what? You just got to, it's, it's an absolute shame. It's one of the things, it kills me about it. Y'all look great, as a matter of fact. <laughs> It's not just about shooting. Most of the two and a half hour night is spent here in the classroom, away from the firing range. The purpose behind this, gals, is to make sure we're more focused. The women take part in a self defense course, learning about how not to be a victim. Front, three. Good, look at your stance, perfect. While it's meant to be a fun night, it can also be eye-opening. Connie Curry is one of several women from Winchester who learned she could be an easy target. Circling the parking lot for a good parking space closer to the door, you know, someone may see you circling the parking lot and you're a target for someone pulling inside your van or something or pulling up to a van in a parking lot. Back on the range, there are women who have never handled a gun, including me. Much better the second go round. I think practice is key on this. Practice is key. I was apprehensive to say the least, but I wasn't alone. I was really nervous before I actually picked up the gun, but the more I shot, the more confident I became. And that's the target that folks here to hit. Of the ladies that come to this ladies' night. 80% come back and buy again. Uh, they come back confident. Pretty fun, yeah, I wish I'd done it sooner. <laughs> well, because of gun privacy laws, it is hard to tell how many women in Kentucky actually own a gun, but I have had an overwhelming response from women tonight on my Facebook mm -hmm. page that said, yes, I'm a gun owner. I've got sure. my conceal and carry permit. Now, the class costs $15. That's it. If you don't want to shoot a gun, you don't have to, but you're still going to get a two-and-a-half-hour personal defense course for 15 bucks.